We have a whole lot of sunshine outside and we are going to keep that throughout the rest of today and really for a lot of the weekend. So a good looking Father's Day weekend coming our way live looking Blacksburg with our Virginia Tech sky cam. Just a few little clouds out there. Otherwise sunshine having no trouble dominating our skies. We are in the mid 60s still have that breeze and that is also something that we are going to keep throughout the rest of our Friday. It's going to gradually back off as we go through the rest of the evening and overnight dew points in the low 40s. Again, we are nowhere near anything humid. That is going to change though a little bit later on into the weekend, especially by Father's Day. Gusts at times through the next several hours in that 25 to 35 mile per hour ballpark. Again, it's been breezy all morning. It's been breezy since yesterday afternoon. Sustained winds on the line of about 15 to 20 miles an hour. You see though gradually after about 5, 6 o'clock, those winds really start to back off going calm as we close in on midnight and especially the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning. Comfy out there right now. 67 in Lexington, 57 in Hot Springs, 59 for us in Covington. Again, a great afternoon to keep the windows open and shut the AC off, saving the electric bill. You're likely going to need it again, especially by the second half of the weekend. Nice, comfy 71 in South Boston. Lower 60s for us as that breeze is staying cranked up. May need the jacket tonight if you're heading to the Red Sox game. We're going to dip into the upper 60s by the fifth inning. Lower 60s by the ninth. Again, the breeze does leave us throughout the course of the game, but certainly some of you may need the jacket as we're going to dip into the low to mid 50s again tonight. System generating the wind way up and out of here. We are dry, though, throughout the eastern seaboard, really throughout much of the Midwest as well. This is going to be the big chunk of high pressure that dominates our skies through much of Father's Day weekend. Here's one o'clock on our Friday again lunch outside gorgeous just a little breezy for us nine o'clock tonight any bonfires or anything like that sitting on the patio nice and comfy once we get into tomorrow I do think we'll see a few extra clouds sunshine still going to dominate these are just those higher thin clouds but again just in and out of a few extra clouds on our Saturday Saturday afternoon Saturday evening looking gorgeous if you're planning on grilling outside with dad Saturday or Sunday mid 80s tomorrow hanging around 90 on Sunday and this is when the humidity really starts to surge back so you'll notice that big change from where we stand today just a 20% chance for a few showers and thunderstorms and this is mainly going to be in the evening as our next system tries to sneak on in here as that happens the humidity going to start to surge out ahead of it by tomorrow we're going to notice a little bit of humidity start to come back in nothing too crazy Really, though, by Father's Day, that's when you'll notice some of the humidity is starting to sneak back in here. Dew points likely going to be in the mid to upper 60s. It starts to get in that uncomfortable realm. Tonight, we are quiet. We are cool overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. Again, very similar morning to this morning. Minus the wind, it's going to be much cooler, at least much more quiet tomorrow. Mid 80s again on Saturday, hanging around 90 on Sunday. The better rain chances come back in here Monday and into early next work week. But for the most part, Patrick, Father's Day weekend. Looking gorgeous, great for the pools, great for grilling. Good news for, for anybody who needs to get outside yeah, and get oh some yeah. projects done and also for grilling for dad on Sunday. Yeah, we need it. Last week was almost a total loss and uh, it was complete 180 this weekend. Thank goodness for yeah. that. Thank you, Jonathan.